Hi guys. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone is having a great start to their day, a great start to their week. So I wanted to jump on here really quickly and shed some light on some stuff. Um, and again, these are, I want to give you some tangible takeaways, but also ways of correcting, fixing, and moving forward. So I know that, um, you know, some people might jump on here on the replay, but what I wanted to do is, what's up, Russell, Jabri, good to see you guys jumping on. And so for anyone that has an entrepreneurial business, for anyone that has a network marketing business, you know, the social media platforms are always changing. And, you know, again, being a student of the game and being on here all the time, I'm always seeing what's going on. So um, if you're coming on, say hi and where you're coming in from. And again, um, Awana, good to see you, my friend. It's been a while. So if you're just coming on, say hi and where you're coming in from. I do have another free giveaway today. Um, so if you would like that free giveaway, share this Facebook Live on your personal or private team page or tag three friends or teammates in this. And then just use the hashtag I shared or I tagged and I will drop that free giveaway to you a little bit later. Hi, Stacy, my dear friend. Good to see people jumping on. So again, um, I want to, and this is really important because obviously um, if you're in Isogenics, um, there's a new shake flavor that got dropped today and it's birthday cake sounds delish. And I'm going to go all over some stuff that is related to that, but not related to that. But these are three things that, that worked on Facebook back in 2013 before the algorithm caught up and what you can do immediately to fix all of this stuff. Hi, Kathleen, Katya, good to see people jumping on. So again, please say hi and where you're coming in from. Um, please share this on your private team pages. Hi, Cindy. Uh, and if you do share it or tag three people, use the hashtag I shared or I tagged. And I do have another free giveaway for people that do. So, so I'm going to talk about what worked in 2013 and what is not working now and how you can correct it. So, what number one. And I'm going to preface a lot of this, so don't worry. Um, I'm going to explain exactly why. So, number one, what did work in 2013 that is not working as well now because it's actually hurting the algorithm that you're creating, number one is liking and commenting on each other's posts. So, in the very beginning of your network marketing journey, you're told to post certain things and to go on and like and comment on all of your teammates' stuff. But what you guys need to understand is that the way that this algorithm is now set up is that Facebook recognizes those that you interact with. So whoever you're interacting with, whoever you're liking and commenting, or whoever's liking and commenting on your stuff, Basically, Facebook takes that, funnels it into an algorithm, and then creates a news feed based around those that are engaging with you or those that you are engaging with. So if that makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, um, please give me some thumbs, some hearts, some smiley faces if this is resonating as well. And if you haven't done so, uh, tag three teammates or share this on your personal or private team page and use the hashtag I shared or I tagged and I will send you a free gift later from me today. So hi Leanne, good to see you on. Um, fascinating, Stacy says, and I'm going to explain why, Stace. So, so here's the deal. When that happens, basically, if you guys start to notice, when you log on to Facebook, so if you're liking and commenting on all your teammates' stuff, then you're going to start to notice when you log on to Facebook, the people that you see in the newsfeed are those same people. 
and you're not seeing any of your network that is not in your opportunity yet. So basically, you're blacking out all of the potential people that you can bring into the business or at least the products. So here, I'm not saying do not support your team, but the people that you should be liking and commenting on are the ones that are not in your opportunity because they tell you, listen, go like and comment on all of your teammate stuff because that's gonna draw the engagement up. But if every single person that's liking and commenting on that information is directly related to your team and your opportunity, Basically, you're creating this funnel where the only people that are seeing it are the ones that are in that opportunity. And again, now everyone is blacking out their networks, so no one sees it but you guys. So if that makes sense, why or yes in the chat box, or you can do some thumbs, some hearts, some wow faces. And again, if you would like a free download from me today, share this on your personal or private page or tag three people and use the hashtag I tagged or I shared. This is really important for you guys to understand because you need to do it two different ways. So number one, you should still absolutely support, like, and comment your team. But most importantly, you need to go through your regular friends, the ones that are not in your opportunity, and you need to do your due diligence to like and comment on their stuff, the picture of their kids, their family, their dinners, whatever they're doing, you need to do your part to make sure that you are engaging with the normal stuff. Hi, Debbie. So that's what you guys need to do. So Kathleen says, so what, um, so what is it we are supposed to like and comment on? So you should like and comment on your teammate's stuff, but you should comment and like your regular friend stuff. So whatever they're doing. So, you know, if anyone follows me on social media, I'm always taking pictures of me and Nancy doing stuff and people engage with it. You know, pictures of my mom and my sister and my niece. So, hey Stace. So that's what you guys need to do. So not only, so number one, What's hurting you is only liking and commenting on each other's posts. You need to support the people on your team, but you need to support the people that are not on your team yet. So do your due diligence and start liking and commenting on everybody else's stuff that's not in your opportunity because those are the people that can actually sign up with you. All the people that you're liking and commenting, they're not able to. Um, and thank you, Stacy, for tagging your team. So as Stacy has done, um, tag three or more people or share this on your personal or private timeline. Use the hashtag I shared or I tagged and I will send you a free gift later. So again, we're going over the three things that worked in 2013 on Facebook for network marketing that are now hurting people. So again, um, if you don't, then they won't see your post. So Debbie is right, like Debbie is a, an amazing, amazing top leader in network marketing. You should follow her and watch what she does because she shows a great balance between family and business all the time. So keep up the great job, Deb. So again, number one, you're just liking and commenting on each other's posts. Make sure that you like and comment on your team and everybody else. So that's number one. So the, num the second thing, the second thing, so guys, if this makes sense, why or yes in the chat box, um, throw me some hearts, some thumbs, some wow faces, and please share this video. Invite other people on here and do exactly what Stacy has done. Uh, Debbie uh, Gasparoni, she's a, a couple people above. Definitely follow her. She's incredible. Um, so again, the second thing that is not working as effective as it was in 2013 are before and afters. So everyone is sharing before and afters. You know, Steve's before and after, this person's before and after, this person's before and after. And what I can tell you is this, back in the day, sharing multiple before and afters a week would work, but now it doesn't. You will, I, I the, the best example I can give you is that uh, you know, Stacy can put up a picture of her and her husband uh, on a date night, and it'll get a hundred likes, bunch of comments, and then Stacy will share 
someone else on her team's transformation? Crickets. Except the only people that are on her team, which are liking and commenting, so it's just refiltering that same thing so no one's seeing it, again, blocking people out. So what can you do with before and afters? And I actually went, went over this on a training last night that I did for a team. And what I can share with you is this. The best before and after that you can ever share is your own. Because your network, your friends, the people that you are friends with on Facebook, they care about you. If they're going to say yes to the program that you're on now, it's because they want to see your progress. They want to see your results. They want to see your transformation. That's what they want to see. They don't know who those other people are. So back in the day, you could do a transformation every single night, and you're going to have people reaching out to you. But now there's crickets. People are, are putting out before and afters, and no one is responding. And what I can tell you, that is because you're not doing anything different. So if there is a best transformation that you should be sharing, it's yours. It could be your physical transformation. It could be your emotional transformation. It could be your spiritual transformation, your relationship transformation. So everyone gets hung up on network marketing that if they're part of a, a company where they provide a good or a service or a product, that that's the only kind of transformation they can show. That's not true. The, the kind of transformations that people want to see is how deeply this affects you. Um, and that's okay, Kathleen, because it's not about, sometimes it's not about uh, losing weight, doing a, a selfie and saying, you know, since saying yes to my nutritional program, it may not look like I've lost a lot of weight, but my energy is increased, I'm sleeping better, and I'm feeling more youthful. So sharing your results, because sometimes people don't necessarily want to lose weight, they just want to feel better. So sharing your own personal results and transformation of what it means to you is going to mean the most to your network. So if that makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box, some hearts, some thumbs, some wow faces. And if you could definitely tag three or four people on your team in this so they can watch it or share this with your team and write hashtag I shared or I tagged. Um, Stacy says, his has been a heart transformation so much more. Oh, um, so Stacey says it's been more of a heart transformation so much more than physical. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. Uh, a heart transformation, like acts of service, like you got to understand that when you start diving more into yourself and what you're about, things start changing. So, so in the comment section below, let's do a little bit of a brain dump. So I want to hear from you guys. What have you guys, so, so Stacy, I want you to continue on this and everybody that's on here watching right now, write in the chat box below, outside of losing weight, what have you achieved transformation-wise from your network marketing opportunity? Financial transformation. Thank you, Kathleen. Personal, professional, spiritual, emotional. What are some transformational things that have happened to you? Write that in the chat box now because this is going to help you come up with some content later that's different. Um, oh, you're so welcome, uh, Lee. My, my, my pleasure. Um, thank you, Awana. Thank you for sharing this. I will send you guys a little, uh, a little giveaway later from me. And also, you can still tag some people and share it. Uh, Joey, what's up? Good to see you on here. Thomas, good to see you. So again, write in the chat box, what kind of transformation has this done for you? Because it's not always about physical or losing weight. And if it is, you can type that in here. But there are so many types of transformation. Stacy says, it led her down a path of personal development that was so badly needed. I love that. Stephanie wrote more calm, better mom, wife, and child care provider. I love, see, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what your Facebook network wants to hear. Not all that other crap that people keep posting, like congrats on Steve for losing 10 pounds and saying yes. That's so, it's so vanilla. It's so generic. There's no heart with it. Put some heart behind what you guys are doing. Um, and, and 
Lee, thank you so much for sharing this with others. So you guys have to understand, there are so many deeper things to what these programs do for people. It is so beyond important to share that. Kathleen said, stay more positive through any rough patches, having a better positive mindset, and she's sleeping better. I, I mean, who wouldn't want something like that? Debbie says, time freedom, able to stay home full time, no more debt, more confident, happier, filled a void I was missing by helping others. Stacy says, because of my personal development required with my network marketing opportunity, it literally changed the inertia of my life. I now have multiple certifications, health coach, life coach, and transformation coach. I was not looking for all of these prior to my opportunity, complete mind, body, financial, heart, and professional transformation. This stuff right here, guys, is solid gold. This is what I want to pull out of you. You got to understand, you know, Les Brown says it the best, and I will say it over and over again. If you take the easy road, you're going to live a hard life. But if you take the hard road, you're going to live an easy life. So if it takes you a little bit more time to come up with the content, for your transformation type posts, it's gonna pay off in the end. Not only transformation, but I now have a wonderful tribe that she didn't have before. I love that. You guys are on fire right now, and this is so important for people to understand. And again, I encourage you to really share this Facebook Live with your team. They need to hear this stuff. Share this with your team. Tag some people in it. What's up, T? Good to see you on here, brother. Again. The before and afters, they care most about your transformation. So, you know, Trevor has an amazing transformation. So if he was to share that on his social media, it's going to get a ton of engagement. But if Trevor shares some random dude's transformation, like congratulations to this guy, Steve, no one knows who he is in his network. But everyone in his network knows exactly who he is. Hi, Meg. Hey, Lon. So again... Number one, don't just like and comment on each other's posts. Like everyone else's posts, the people that aren't in your opportunity, because those are the ones that you can actually enroll. And number two, before and afters, share yours. Uh, again, um, thank you, Debbie. You're the best. And if you guys want to see someone that's really transforming their social media, follow my, my friend Megan Fadul Agatep. Um, she just commented. Watch what she's doing. She's being so vulnerable and genuine. It's insane how amazing it is. So here's the thing. Number three, what used to work that's not working right now as good as it was is this. Product launch pictures. Um, so Kathleen, if you go and hit the share button on your screen, you can share it and you can choose a group to share it in or put it on your personal timeline. Um, Awana says my little girl finally has better immune system. She was on antibiotics literally from October until the end of December. And now she hasn't had any fever episode. I love that. So what was working before that's not working now is product launch pictures. If you're in isogenics, if you're in isogenics, obviously the birthday cake, the birthday cake shake is out today. And what is everybody doing? I mean, literally I can go through my timeline and I can probably see the same picture over and over and over again because that's what people need to understand you can't do what is easy everyone is sharing the same picture over and over and over again and what i can share with you is this do something different actually greg sable actually posted something great he posted a picture of the shake but he also said you know you can make pancakes so if you are doing a product launch picture Make it your own. Um, Rob Murgatroy, uh, another great, him and his wife, Kim, did a video of their daughter, Sophia, holding a birthday cake. And he goes, wow, he goes, I really want a birthday cake. And, you know, she took a little piece of birthday cake and shoved it in his face. Do something different. Doing, going on to, going on to someone else's Facebook page and saving a picture of the company's shake flavor that's coming out, saving it to your camera roll, and then just posting it on social media, that's just lazy. Put some thought, some time, some energy, and some effort into it. And the fact is, is that have fun with this. You know, when you order the shake, 
Do a video of it. Don't just make the shake. Make some pancakes. Make some muffins. Do something different. And I, everyone is doing the same thing. And I'm telling you, if you're just going to like and comment on each other's posts, if you're just going to post everybody else's before and afters, and if you're just going to share the same product launch pictures that everyone else is doing, how do you expect anything in your business to change? This worked in 2013. It's six years later. It's not working the same way anymore. And I know you guys can resonate with this because you're seeing the changes too. And again, um, oh, uh, thank you, Stacy. You are a breath of fresh air, my friend. So guys, d don't forget, tag three or four teammates in this. Share this video on your private uh, network marketing team group pages or your personal page. And if you write the hashtag I shared or I tagged, I'm going to send you a free gift. But remember, you just have to be socially aware of what's going on. You have to be socially aware of what's going on. Don't just like and comment on your team stuff. Like and comment on the people that aren't in your opportunity so you actually have someone to talk to about this. Don't just share everyone else's before and after. Share your before and after because your network cares about you most. It just makes sense. And don't just do a product launch picture that everybody else is doing. Have fun with it. Make it your own. Use your own words. Do a Facebook Live about it. Do something different. Um, Ulysses, my, my pleasure, brother. And again, I am running another contest for my book. You can re-enter again. So anyone that posts between now and next Monday, at 8 p.m., I'm giving away five virtual coaching programs next Monday to anyone that takes a selfie or a screenshot of their book, tags me in it with a link of where to buy it. You post it on social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever. Or if you go to my podcast, which is called Network Marketing Made Simple, it's on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You give a five-star rating, write a review with your email address. You will be entered into a contest to potentially win five of my virtual coaching programs. Thank you, Awana. I appreciate that. So again, you take a picture of you in the book, smile, or you, you take a picture of the book, you tag me in it, and you tell people where they can go get it on Amazon that enters you into a contest to win five potential virtual coaching programs. Now, the other thing is, for those that have worked with me, have coached with me either virtually or one-on-one, -on -one, I am launching a affiliate coaching program for anyone that has that wants to bless this LinkedIn training program with their teams. If you want to become an affiliate and a team with me, write I do in the chat box and I will send you the link to become part of my affiliate program. And again, oh, thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate that. And, and, and Kathleen, a Facebook Live will absolutely change this. It's, it's a game changer. So before we end today's, today's Facebook Live, I want to do a quick brain dump. So let's leave on a positive note. Um, Stacy, I will send you that link. Let's end on a positive note. Let's finish with an I am statement. I am powerful. I am determined. I am going to succeed. I want you guys to do a brain dump for the next two minutes. I am statement so you can get fired up and realize that if you want something to change in your business, you have to change something in your business. So I want you guys to write in the chat box right now, I am am and then finish it out some power statements i am what is an i am statement of what something means to you right now because you guys need to affirm it you need to you need to drill it into your brain you need to create that brain tattoo so you have that anchor of what you can go back to so i am so let's end with a brain dump with some power statements what is an i am power statement that you are right now i am determined I am Crystal Executive. I love it, Stacy. So guys, keep going. Well, I am, because this is what you stand for. What you think about is what you become. And that's what I want you guys to understand. So again, for anyone that shares this, use the hashtag I shared, 
or hashtag I tagged three people if you did, and I will send you a free giveaway for me today. Lauren says, I am determined. I love that. Kathleen says, I am determined to learn social media to be more successful than ever. I am successful. I love it. Keep going. Keep doing this brain dump. Got my book today. Love it, brother. Thank you for tagging me. And again, what was working before that's not working now, I am committed to branding myself correctly. I am empowered to achieve the ultimate success God has uh, ordained for me. I will believe in myself, my team, and my mentors committed to success. I am enough. I love it. Don't just comment on everyone else. Don't just comment on your team's post. Comment on everybody else's. And again, share your transfer your transformation. Don't share everyone else's before and after. Share yours. And as far as the product launches, get fun with it. Have a good time with it. Don't just do what's easy. Um, and Awana says she is at the point of no return. Kathleen, thank you for sharing. And again, I am giving away five virtual coaching programs next Monday. All you have to do is post a picture of you in my book or the Kindle or a screenshot of your order. If you've already ordered it, you can do it again. You can just take another picture, screenshot it, tag me, let people know where they can buy it with a link or go to my podcast, Network Marketing Made Simple. Leave a five-star rating, basic review with your email, and you will be entered into that. And also, if you want to become part of my Scott Aaron LinkedIn Accelerator Training Affiliate Program, you want to be an affiliate with me, type in I do, and I will send you a link to become an affiliate with me. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Love you all so much. Go out there and crush it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.